Right. If um, the lack of crowds here at Cowboys training camp, and we're about an hour and 45 minutes away from practice beginning, I've shown you guys how light it is. If you really want to understand how low we literally have gotten is, look at this shit. Let's go, baby, Rob's house. Woo! Jerry, you got to do better than this, bro. You got to do better than this. There you go, my man. Let's go. Damn. Right, they calling man. this the ra You the know ready. what? There ain't enough cowboy fans here to call it the Cowboys house. They might just take this mother humper over. So uh, I think, let's see. There are a few more people in the stands right now. I think I'm going to get right up here for now. Um, because we don't know where they're going to practice with two teams here. They'll probably be using both fields, but we don't know which one that they'll probably scrimmage on. I'm betting, okay, if I'm a betting man, I would think, this is what I would think, with them charging $290 for the VIP section over there, that they would scrimmage over there. But you'll have all the masses over here. So I don't know what they're going to I honestly don't know what they're going to do. But since that's an open spot up there, I think that'll be the spot to be, at least for now. And we'll look for my brother from another mother, Law Nation, nothing but the best. And we're going to bring you some coverage here, live at training camp. And it better not be no Rams house. I'm not sure I'm going to talk a whole bunch of smack because there's a lot of Ram fans up in here. Oh, <laughs> There's a lot of Ram fans up in here. All right, what's the over and under on fights for today? What is the over and under on fights? Hmm. Well, that was when I went in. You see a towel, uh, excuse me, a whatever you want to call it, Ram Country. And um, I see, I, I got there two hours early. I got there uh, 12 o'clock, well, before 12 o'clock for the 2 o'clock practice because I was worried that, hey, you know, I heard before in past years when they've done um, the joint practices that they sell out. And um, attendance has been down for the Cowboys. Let's be clear here. Um, I will say um, the stands and things have been empty. I've, I've been here for Monday's practice. Tuesday's practice today and then tomorrow I'm betting it'll probably be a walkthrough um, I've been to several training camps and I will say that this is the most quiet training camp I've never done joint practices before so the Cowboys have announced that they had a sell out capacity crowd here which is great. That's great. The capacity was 4,100 people. You know, remember, this is not the link. That's a, a whole football stadium. This is, you know, boom. So that sounds good until you realize that I would say 35%, maybe 40%. Hell, it might even have been more than that. We're Ram fans. We're Ram fans. We had to do a joint practice. We had to do a joint practice with the Rams, which is an hour and 15 minutes down the coast, to bring up their fans to be part of a sellout crowd. And the thing that's crazy is the fact that the Cowboys are actually pounding their chest. Oh, we had a sellout today. We had a sellout today, or excuse me, max capacity today. We had a max capacity today. Um, if it weren't for Ram fans, you wouldn't have. See, this is where I, I guess we could look and say that the glass is half full. If you're the Joneses, this is unfortunately the mentality that is killing us because, you know, <laughs> there's no ramifications for the Joneses. Think about this. When the press con opening press conference happened. Stephen Jones was asked, asked about the lack of activity. Um, if the lack of activity, 
you know, and lack of basically fans enthusiasm because it had lack of uh, things, you know, does that change anything? He literally said that season ticket renewals are the best they've ever been. What they literally just said to you is the only thing we care about is the money. It's funny, I just dropped my man Law Nation off at his hotel. He's um, flying out early in the morning, so he's got to get to LA for, you know, flight. Got early flight. And um, I'm so appreciative of the Law Nation, man. He is doing it up. He is putting in the work. And that's where I always say, if you want to see results, you must put in the work. Um, he literally said that season ticket renewals are the highest they've ever been. You know, and when we got talking, you know, William Law, we got talking about C.D. Lamb and the contract situation and stuff. And I said, you know, it may be the Cowboys are thinking about some of the past wide receivers where they paid the big contracts and stuff and they didn't get any dividends that maybe they're having second thoughts and saying, you know, we want the player, but we want them at a cheap price. And Law said, but we like our players. We believe in our players. They may like their players, but I think they just love the money more. And when I look at this right now, as I look at this right now, I ask you, how are we different than the Raiders were with Al Davis as he got old? I don't know that I see a difference right now that we are literally dysfunctional. Al Davis got old and was still living in the past of what he did. Just win, baby. And then his son got it. Although they got a great stadium. They moved the team to Vegas. But they ain't winning. They ain't winning, bro. So, yeah. I was part of all those people there today that made the Dallas Cowboys have a capacity crowd in Oxnard. But I will say this, as down and disappointed as I am about what my front office is doing, I am very proud of the players on that field that are competing and doing everything and being all in. Those guys, they care. They're out there busting their ass, giving it their all. They deserve a front office doing the same. All righty, good people. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm tired. I am exhausted. It has been literally a whirlwind of activity. And um, I know there's preseason games that are going on. I think the Giants have been playing and so on. And uh, I'm picking up food for everybody and uh, go back to the hotel. And I feel, literally feel like falling out. So we'll uh, work on some of the content that we have. And I appreciate you guys. Peace.